there guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and I'm happy to introduce a brand new series for the channel. We are going to be exploring the Ancient Worlds version of an Ultimate Fighting Championship training program in a brutal two-dimensional form. Currently under development by Raptor Claw Games, Gladiator School was released in the Steam Early Access program in December of 2016. The developers appear to be working hard to add feature after feature with the hopes that this will eventually harness all the elements of Ancient Era arena battles, including hand-to-hand -hand combat battles with beasts and even chariot racing. Gladiator School is, however, at its core, a tycoon simulation game allowing you to train and nurture your warriors into fearless fighting machines. With tons of upgradable skills, traits, and abilities already included, I suspect that Gladiator School will be an absolute gem when it is complete. Without any further ado, let's play some Gladiator School. Now, I did have the opportunity to try this on the weekend on stream. So those people, as I promised, those people that join me on stream are going to have the opportunity to be named after some of our Gladiators. But our Dominus, the leader, or the guy that owns the actual Gladiator School, this is going to be Deluxius. <laughs> Deluxius Dominus. Do we have enough room for that? No, there's not enough room. Oh, no. Deluxe Dominus. There we go. Deluxe Dominus. That's what we'll do. Deluxe Dominus. There we go. Excellent. And we can choose what our character looks like. <laughs> that's face like he's always surprised. You imagine always being surprised. That's great. I, I, I picked him on the weekend. Um, even I can't take him seriously anymore. So let's try and find somebody that... <laughs> He looks so unhappy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the. Uh, I wonder if these are randomly generated. I don't know. He looks kind of cool. I like him. <laughs> he looks great. He's always surprised. Wonderful. Ah, there we go. <laughs> no, I can't take him seriously either. Okay, this guy looks way too serious. Way too serious. Um, Let's pick somebody. Uh... <laughs> Some of these faces. Oh, there we go. Deluxe Dominus. He's... uh. I don't know. That's really intense, too. All right, here we go. You are Deluxe Dominus, a military general. For many years, you led armies of the Empire in the war against barbarian tribes. You became so powerful that even the Supreme Emperor himself feared you. One day, the Supreme Emperor gave you an ultimatum. Leave the army or die. Betrayed and forced to begin a new life, you decided to become the trainer of gladiators. You found an old abandoned farm and started building your gladiator school. Your story begins here, in a marketplace, where you will buy your first slave. That's right, it says slave. <laughs> Uh, once again, as I said during the live stream, I do not condone the uh, buying and selling of people. <laughs> It's just, it's just bad practice. It's just not very nice. Okay, so we got to choose the, uh, our first, very first gladiator. Oh, I love this guy. Look at his smile. He's great. Um, so, uh, basically, this is a numbers game. This game is all about numbers. So, we want, of course, the highest health, stamina, and damage. And this guy looks pretty good. So, 40-18-2. Then we've got 30-12-2. Nope. Uh, 40-16-1. Nope. 40-12-1. Nope. And 40-16-2. Oh, 40... 4018-2. So this guy over here is Flavius <laughs> with the great smile. I love his smile. He looks kind of goofy. I love him. And his preferred weapon of choice is two axes. Excellent. Let's go for him. We're going to buy him. Welcome to Gladiator School. Wonderful. Okay, so right off the top, we take a quick look at Gladius. I'm just going to pause it here while we take a look at our interface as well. I've under I understand a little bit better than I did during the stream because, of course, I've had a chance to play it on the stream. Okay, so we've got our mood, which we have to keep fairly high, or eventually he may try to escape or do something uh, terrible. Like, I don't know, maybe he'll attack the guard or something, but we need to keep his mood fairly high or he will try to escape and do terrible things. Of course, he has his health, which is, of course, hit points. Stamina uh, determines how many attacks or blocks he gets in combat and damages of course how much damage he does and then he has a thought i need a place where i could sleep so we're gonna do that right away but he's he's a son of a stone hauler enslaved in alexandria oh, i'd like to see more backstory I, I like the backstory stuff i love that um and then of course we have his skills right now he has no skills but eventually we can actually buy more skills for this guy weapon mastery is dodge adrenaline ultimate attack combo attacks power strikes awesome so i think that comes after we promote him and is after he's got a, a few kills under his belt uh, so yeah that's kind of fun um and uh, i don't know oh it's special and ultimate abilities i see right there okay and then in action we can rename him so the first name on my list let me just grab my list here because i am using names from the people that were on the live stream as i promised 
first name is going to be, got it, Shad I don't know if this is going to be enough room for some of these names, but Shadow Lurker. No, there's not enough room, so I'm just going to call you Slurker. <laughs> Slurker. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, there we go, confirm. Excellent. Okay, so Slurker is ready to go. He's not our champion yet. We may make him our champion one day. And then we can take a look and see some of his other things. So we can adjust, of course, his skills as we looked at already. His gear, the type of weapon he's going to be using. We cannot choose armor or there is no trophies yet, but we can, if we want, choose his weapon type. I think we're going to go with the double axes for now because that sounds like fun. Um, let's go back to our overview. We can adjust his rank. Um, eventually, we can promote him to our champion. And then after that, I don't know what happens because I haven't uh, played that far in the game. We can assign him a job right away within the uh, within the uh, the school. So we can say, whenever you're not busy, go ahead and do carpentry, which means he's going to turn wood into boards or janitor, which means he's going to clean the place up, which I think I'm going to pick because the place is filthy, as you can see. And, uh, and of course, we can choose him as a chef as well, but we don't have any extra meat. We do have some wood that I want him to take care of, but I'm not gonna worry about that for right now. And then, of course, you can see his condition. He's not injured. Um, we can feed him from this menu, which is actually quite handy. Otherwise, he will go eat on his own if there's nothing. he's not doing anything else, but it's a lot of times you'll find it's better just to feed him from here super fast. You don't He doesn't have to stop what he's doing, which is great. And of course, we can send him to bed here. We can actually increase his salary, which will increase his mood overall. And I think as we promote him, we have to give him money or he's going to be very, very unhappy about the whole situation. So there we go. There's a quick rundown of our character. Now let's take a look at our school. So our school really doesn't have much in it, but it does have a workbench for turning wood into planks. So we can actually grab, I think it's one piece of wood equals one plank. We also have a cooking station. We don't have any meat right now, like raw meat to turn to create more cooked meat, but we do have some cooked meat already, so we have more than enough to get by for now. We also have 300 gold. So what can we do with that money? Well, we can build our school. So as you can see, everything that's marked with a hammer here, we can actually build on. If we try to build something over here, we can build a warm bath, which we're going to need right away anyway. That costs 70 gold. Perfect. Oh, I guess we got to get this thing moving. Okay, so there we go. We are building our warm bath. Now we need to make our warrior, our first gladiator slurker, better than what he is right now. So how better than to give him a place to actually do some training? So we could give him sandbags, weight lifts, uh, weightlifting, a uh, treadmill, or a dueling area. Now we can afford the first three. The sandbag improves damage, weightlift improves health, treadmill improves stamina. I'm going to go for damage. I did that last time too when we did our... Uh, when we did our live stream. See, he's cleaning. He's cleaning the schmutz on the floor. Wonderful. Um, let's get him working on that sandbag right away. I maybe should have gone for stamina first. I don't know. Because it does use up stamina as you do your training. And you'll notice you'll start to gain experience points for every time he hits. He gets a little bit of experience points until it reaches the top where it increases the total amount of damage that he can do. Now, it's going to be... There's going to be a little bit of a gap here until he takes a rest. He has to actually sleep in order for that damage to reach its peak efficiency. But we'll get to there. We'll get to there. Notice his mood is going down uh, slowly over time here. So we're going to have to stop when he runs out of stamina or his mood's just going to tank out. And we're going to throw him in the bath to do a little bit of resting. And then we're going to get him back to work. But we are going to need a place for him to rest. So we're going to build a gladiator bed. It's 50 gold. So now we're down to 130 bucks. We're already starting to run out of money. And I would like to have another gladiator are going right from the beginning but uh, we'll just wait a second for that I want so yeah you can see now damage two out of three so it'll be three out of three after he takes a rest and then he'll do a total of three damage in combat he's out of stamina let's get him resting otherwise his mood is gonna tank so I am gonna try and run this at uh, the faster speed as much as possible but sometimes when they switch jobs it automatically automatically switches it back to regular speed so you know we're gonna be going back and forth okay slurker let's get you back to work I wonder if I could build a uh, uh, we're going to need some wood, actually. Uh, Slurker, I'd like you to do some... Hmm. You know what? Actually, I'm going to go regular speed. And we're going to go to the market here right away. We're going to go to town. So we can go to town and we can buy and sell goods like meat and wood and herbs and teas and wines and potions and all sorts of good things. We don't need any of that right now, but I would like to buy one more slave. Sounds so weird saying that. It's 2017 and I'm talking about slaves. It's weird. Um, anyway, low quality stock. Um, so we can buy three different... Hold on. I'm going to... Just go home for a second here. Just pause this. Just pause this. I want I want to pause while I'm actually at the market because it's going to take me a second to talk about this. So there's three. Oh, I guess it doesn't pause. You can't pause when you're in the market. Interesting. You can hear it in the background. Low quality stock. So that is sort of the uh, 
lesser version of all the gladiators. 50 coins for him. Weaker slaves that do not look that they can fight, but can, but still have potential. So you can train these guys up. Level 10 guy has a thousand coins. These slaves were born to fight and have huge potential to become great gladiators. And then of course, veteran elite soldiers, well-trained and experienced warriors that will demand a high salary at 5,000 coins. Far out of our reach, we're gonna buy one regular plain old slave and go home. There, he should be coming in. Perfect, Canis. Um, just pause here for a second. Canis, let's take a quick look at you. You are mood terrible, of course. I'm gonna give you, um, we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, I'm still, I still fumble around with the menus because I'm still learning them, but we're gonna go to Canis and I'm also going to assign him a job. We're gonna make him a janitor as well because there's a lot of cleaning that has to be done in this place to make this place look good. So now I'm not, I don't have, uh, oh, I do have enough money to buy another bed if I want to right now, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Canis just cleaning for the time being. And, uh, oh, hey, notice when we went to, when we went to the market, this must be a bug. When we went to the market, it brought our damage right up, so we didn't have to sleep to get the the most out of our damage. Really, really weird. Um, do we have enough? Uh, actually, you know what, Canis? What I'd like you to do for now is I'd like you to work on some wood, uh, get some wood trans or uh, converted into boards. That would be delightful. Now at night, of course, you're better off sending your guys to go have a sleep. That way, they recover a little bit more mood, and uh, they recover, of course, any of the. Uh, damage points and health points that uh, they are missing. So I'm going to get Slurker to go to bed. We can directly tell him to go to bed by... Uh, uh, actually, if we just go... If we hit this button, it is nighttime. That button only appears at night, but we only have one bed available. So I've kind of done that on purpose. We can't... We could buy another bed, but I'm kind of saving my money right now because I don't know. I think there's... We might need to get something else before that. Now, guys, they do not need to sleep. You can actually have your guys stay awake for indefinite amounts of time. You just gotta watch their mood and make sure that they uh, their mood doesn't go too far down. This is already too far down. What I can do is I'm gonna get him to go onto this machine here. We're gonna get him to do a little bit of damage training, and then we're gonna get him to sit in the bath, and that's good enough. It'll raise his mood back up. The only thing that sleeping gives you, as far as I can tell thus far, Ooh, let's get you uh, soaking. The only thing that sleeping gives you, far as I can tell, so far is replenishment of damage points and health points. Uh, stamina you can easily recover from sitting in the pool. Let's get you working on more boards and stuff. Now, uh, you, oh, here we go, day two, excellent. So your gladiators automati automatically wake up. Now, if I can, he will automatically go and eat when he's hungry, which is perfectly fine. But like I said, it's almost easier just, uh, there he goes, he's going to eat on his own. There we go, he ate. But no, you'll notice that, uh, whoops, wrong button. You'll notice that um, he will never, he, he doesn't seem to feed himself to full when he does that. So I could click on this again to make sure he's full. Important to feed your, your guys, uh, make sure they're 100% full before they actually go into a battle because <laughs> that could lead to all sorts of problems. Oh yes, I did want to see, I wanted to try and build uh, one more building with what money we have left. I want to build a treadmill, but that's going to cost us 25 boards. That's going to take a little bit of time from Canis working on that to get to that point. And we're, we're going to skip building the other bed. Yeah, I know. It seems crazy. He's not going to sleep. We're not going to let this guy sleep. He's going to get lots and lots of rest with the bath, though. And Slurker, we're just going to keep him damage training. And I wish, actually, I kind of wish that this little interface was over to the side a little bit so I could see how many boards I have or maybe have a little indication up here of how many boards and meat and stuff I have up here. That'd be actually really handy so I can see that at all times. Because, yeah, when I've got that menu open, oh, I guess I can see the meat, but I can't see the boards down here. That's unfortunate. Um, so we've got enough boards now. We're going to get Canis on this machine. Slurker, we're going to get you out of this. Perfect. And we're going to build a treadmill. There we go. So this is going to allow Slurker to work on his... Oh, right. I've got a name, Canis. Sorry, I almost forgot here. Let's just pause it for a second while I grab a name from my book. Ah, there we go. Got it. Okay, so Canis, your name shall henceforth be known as... Whoa. It automatically switched to Slurker, weird. Be it Bender, hold on. Bender Manthus. Oh, get it's guess it's gonna be uh, Benderman, because it can't put that many characters in there. Benderman is our new guy. Awesome, perfect. So, and away we go. 
Uh, this is a delightful game. I'm really enjoying this. I, I have to admit, I did not have, have high hopes for it. I threw it up on stream on Sunday because I thought, ah, oh, it's, it's probably pretty crappy. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a $10... Yeah, it had some positive reviews, but I didn't think it was going to be as completed as, as it is. There's still lots of things that aren't finished in this game, but uh, it's certainly way better than what I expected. Okay, Slurker, we're just going to wait until his... So you can see his stamina builds up in the same way, but he doesn't have to sleep to replenish all of his stamina. He can replenish all that stamina in the uh, in the, uh, in the the pool here, in the baths. So that's kind of nice. Um, Bennerman, let's get you... Actually, Bennerman... Uh, you know what? We're going to have you eat something and then maybe do a little bit more cleaning. Slurker, let's get you in the pool. Excellent. Benderman is going to go off and he's going to eat and then he's going to start cleaning some more of the schmutz on the ground here. I'm assuming the cleaner this place is, the better their mood's going to be overall. I'm kind of hoping. And both of these guys are assigned as uh, janitors, so that's kind of good. Now, I'm thinking we should maybe start thinking about our first gladiator fight right away. We've already got damage 5 out of 7, or it's going to be 7 after he has a rest. Let's try and increase that a little bit more. Actually, let's get you on stamina first. The long, the more stamina he has, the longer he can train. So I think almost stamina you should almost do stamina first for all of your guys to get them high enough, high enough so that they can actually sit on the machines longer, right? Kind of makes sense. Benerman, um, you might as well go take a rest. He hasn't had a he hasn't had a sleep for days, so that's that's fine. He, we can get away with him not sleeping. That's perfectly fine. Um, and then we're gonna get Slurker. We're gonna get you to go to sleep. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how long they need to sleep to be effective. I'm assuming that. Uh, uh, hold on, Benner, Bennerman. Let's get you. Yeah, damage training is fine. I uh, because. Nighttime is actually quite a long time, and maybe if you don't get enough sleep, it does affect you in your battle coming up. So tomorrow, during the day, we will go to the market, and or we will go to town. Yeah, there's a, you can visit town and talk to some of the leaders, or some of the guys that will get you hooked up into some actual fights. Bennerman, let's get you to go take a rest. I'm trying, I want to get both of these guys up to a point where they're pretty good, just generally, overall. Okay, so let's go... Slurker, let's put you on the damage machine, and let's go to the tavern. All right, Remus Festus, hello! Hey, friend, welcome to the tavern. My name is Remus Festus. I arrange all matches around here. Well, nice to meet you. If you want to compete in the arena, you need a sponsor. Come back later. Okay. Um, let's go to Valorous Carito. Hey, friend, I am Valorous. I run the... Whoever... Who says that? Hey, friend. That's such a weird thing to say. Like, I see people type that all the time, but who actually says that? Hey, friend, I'm Valerus. I run the betting on the arena and pit fights in these parts. Very nice to meet you. Do you like my eyes? My big black eyes. I heard you are a new gladiator trainer. I might have some advice to get you started. Well, I need a sponsor. If your gladiator can win a fight in the pit, I might consider sponsoring, sponsoring you. Excellent. So, and I think I need to go talk to Remus again. We have a... Uh, he will... I told you that you cannot compete in the arena arena yet. Well, what about the pit? The pit is not not a good place, but I suggest uh, you have to start somewhere. Can you arrange it? If you are certain your fighters are good enough, I think I have a job for you. Do I get paid? You will get your share of the prize if your fighter gives a crowd a good show. I promise he will. There is an execution of criminals in two days. Will you have a fighter ready by then? I will make sure of it. Excellent. I have planned a pit fight for your gladiator in two days. Come back by then. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So Slurker, we're already preparing for his first fight. Uh, it's too, too bad the game doesn't pause when you're in town like that. That would be kind of nice. I mean, later on, it might be better if you just... Uh, if, if it didn't pause... Or maybe, I don't know, I wish you had more control over it. I think that's that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to be able to pause while I'm in town and or choose whether I'm pausing or not rather than, because, you know, I don't know. I, who knows? Who knows how much time I'll spend, you know, in a market or something. And I want to be able to control that. But anyway, this is pretty cool. Bender, uh, yeah, you definitely need more sp stamina for sure. Slurker, we're going to pull. It sure would be nice to have more than one bath right away. I guess we can turn off this build thing. Uh, let's get Slurker out of there. Slurker. Oh, right. You have to yeah, stop bathing. There we go. Benderman, get into the bath. Go take a bath. You stink. <laughs> uh, Slurker, yeah, you're, he's up to damage of nine. Fantastic. We'll get his stamina up a little bit more, too. I think we're going to be able to do fairly well in our first battle here. Pretty sure. 
Bitterman is up to stamina 12. He, he had really low stamina when he came here. Really, really, really low. Slurker, ah oh yeah, Slurker should do fine in the first battle, I think. I think. <laughs> I am going to try and win this game. I remember during the stream, we, we kind of sacrificed at least one person to the lions, <laughs> which was maybe not very nice of me, but it sure was fun. It was entertaining. Uh, stamina's up. Ooh, we're pushing 30 now. Excellent. Just keep these guys on these machines, right? We're going to let Benderman just kind of chill out, maybe do a little bit of cleaning and stuff. All right, Slurker, let's get you back in the baths. Go take a bath, you smell. <laughs> uh, excellent. Mood is decent. I'd like to get his mood right up there for the battle. So we have two days to get him ready for combat. Oh, there he goes. Benderman's using a little broom, cleaning it up. Wonderful. So we kind of inherited a very dirty school. It was very dirty when we got here. I don't know, the previous tenants were terrible. <laughs> the previous tenants were probably gladiators and they probably all died or something. There was a big riot and it's just, you know, blood and guts all over the place. Just terrible, just terrible. But we'll, life's messy, clean it up, right? So that's what we're doing. All right, Benderman, let's get you over here on this machine. Slurker, you probably need to eat. I don't think you've eaten for a while. Hold on, let's go to the uh, gladiators. Yes, let's feed him. I like doing it this way. It's just more efficient sometimes. Okay, and Bannerman, uh, you still don't have a... Oh, uh, pause. Slurker, let's get you to bed. Perfect. Slaves barracks. Bannerman still does not have a bed. He hasn't slept in days. He's been sleeping in the tub. <laughs> Actually, it's a great time for you to just pound away at, you know, getting some extra skill or doing some of those extra jobs around the... Uh, around the school, right? Like cleaning and carpentry and all that kind of good stuff, so... And Betterman needs a lot of stamina, so this is actually a great time for him to just get better at what he does. I'm kind of hoping Slurker... Yeah, Slurker will have a mood of 50... Well, he'll probably have a mood of about 60 or 70 by the time we actually put him in the pit. We have two days, I believe. Yeah, I think... Maybe this is the last one. Maybe this is... Maybe that's today. Not entirely sure. Let's get Benderman out of there. Let's throw Slurker in the pool. And let's just quickly check. Let's just quickly check the tavern here and be sure. Maybe we can go right away. Um, tomorrow. So, yes, we have one more day. Excellent. So, Benderman, uh, Slurker is taking a little bit of a rest. Let's maybe get you doing a little bit more damage work. Get you trade up a little bit more in damage. And Benderman's, ah, Benderman's coming along with his stamina. He's almost up to 20. That will allow him to sit on these machines a little bit longer. Isn't this lovely? What a cool little game. I love this. Can you imagine filling this whole place up with, with gladiators? Oh, I can't wait until we get tons and tons of guys. It'll be a little bit of a click fest, though, I suspect. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit hard to keep up with, I think. Betterman's taking a little bit of a rest. Yeah, it keeps... Every time you change jobs, or sometimes when you change jobs, it automatically brings the speed back down to one, which is a little no a little annoying. And, of course, not being able to see the whole screen and stuff, I, I just think they need to rearrange things a little bit more here. But all, all in all, I think the interface isn't terrible. <laughs> Um, I'd like to see a little bit more automation, like when he is out of stamina, I should have a setting to make it so that he'll automatically stop doing that machine and maybe head to the bass if it's available or something. You know, that'd be kind of cool. So we're up to damage 13. Oh, um, I have no idea relative what, so how much, how much of these abilities do I need to really compete in the real gladiator fights? Like I, we've seen uh, during the stream, we saw, you know, a fight against a lion and we saw we saw, you know, a few, uh, we saw a couple battles against just regular of uh, the pit, the pit gladiators, and they weren't that tough, but I'm assuming that they are going to get pretty tough. Um, from what I have read, I haven't watched anybody play this game, but from what I have read, this game does get fairly, fairly tough, like pretty tough. So let's get uh, Bannerman in the pool. Oh, maybe I should have let him finish cleaning that. We're almost there. See, it automatically switches us back to regular speed. We're almost ready for our first fight. So tomorrow, we got to make sure that Slurker is ready to go. He's up to move 66, which is good. Damage of 14, which is fantastic. I think he's just gonna do very, very well in the uh, in the in the uh, in the pit and fighting the, his first gladiator opponent. Let's get Bannerman back on the machine here. Perfect. And. We'll throw Slurker back in the bath in a second. There we go. Lovely. He's up to damage 16. Wow, maybe we should give him a little bit more stamina. So, stamina, the more stamina you have, the more uh, uh, the more attacks or blocks that you can do before you have to stop and rest. Okay, Benderman, you better get out of there. Benderman, get out of there. And uh, let's throw you on this machine a little bit. Slurker, before you go to bed, Benderman, you go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning. Clean that spot. I mean, you've been, trying to work, you've been trying to clean that spot for a while now, and I keep stopping you from cleaning it. There we go. Go back into the pool, and stamina's up to 30. Perfect. Let's, whoops, let's go have a nap. 
Perfect. And then we go to, we go to battle tomorrow. So we got to make sure he's well fed and he has the best mood possible before we go into that fight. So maybe we will put him in the bath or something before we go. I don't know. I don't know. Me, I'm not sure if the battles are randomly generated. Like the guys that we fought when we were on stream were not that bad. Actually, even the lion wasn't that bad. But I guess we're going to find out here. Uh, there we go. Day five. Let's just go regular speed here. I'm going to let him go grab a bite to eat. And we're going to throw Slurker in the bath until his mood gets up a little bit before we go. And let's see. Hold on. Let's go to... Let's go to our gladiators and let's feed Slurker. We're prop... Yeah, we'll wait until he's... His mood is right up there. He's up to 86, which is really good. I'm really pleased with that. I'm not going to do any more training today. We're just going to get him up to 100 or up to 100 mood if we can. I wonder how long that'll take. Oh, yeah, it's not going to take that long. Or at least, you know, above 90. I'm pretty happy with that. And then Benderman, we're just going to have you just hang out and, you know, maybe do a little bit of strength training or something while uh, Slurker is in the fight. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Actually, let's get you back. It's more stamina. More stamina will allow him to just train harder um, with damage. All right, I think we're ready to go. Two points, one point to go. Perfect pause. Let's go to the tavern and start our first fight. The pit fight is about to start. Is your gladiator ready? I am starting. And we're going to use Slurker, of course. Continue. Share of, the, share of payment to the gladiator. So the gladiator will make a gold from this. This is nice. Very nice. All right, Slurker versus Convicted Traitor. Uh, prisoner with sword to be executed. So he has health of 30, we have 40. Stamina of 14, we have 32. Damage of 5, and we have 16. You know what? I still think it's possible because we don't get to control the battle. It's our gladiator that controls the battle. It is possible to lose these fights if you don't block and stuff at the right spot. So now, at this point, we can actually see he's well-rested, which gives him plus 8 in stamina. Um, and we can give him a... Oh, and mental, he's got high morale, so that gives him plus 8 as well. And we can give him a pep talk. And uh, we're experimenting with this a little bit. I think if we do must win, he loses some of his health, but he gets more damage or something. I don't know. I think we'll do... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll experiment with this. So we have 40, 48, 16. So that just gave him... Oh, that gave him... Made him confident, just gave him stamina. So I wonder if he had low morale and we had threatened to punish him. I wonder what, what that would do. It would probably do something that we didn't want. So we're going to make him very aggressive that raised his damage but lowered his health got it okay excellent let's go enter the fight dun 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 oh look at us we got a nice little helmet too my money is on slurker here mind you we both have the same health but look at the damage we do to compare to him wow one more hit and he's dead to the face let's kill him wonderful excellent our first victory and we need these victories we need the money so we only get 10 coins here and we get a trophy I think these are, it's a considered, I don't know what this is. It's a win anyway, travel home. But now, if we go back to town and we go to the tavern and we talked to uh, Rebus. Good job, decent fight. Talk to Valorous to collect your prize. Okay, so we go to Valorous. I am impressed by your gladiators. It might be, <laughs> your, I am impressed. Your gladiators might be of value to us both. My reward, here's your slice of the profits, a bonus, bonus of 885 coins. Freaking fantastic. I still need more proof that your fighters are strong enough for the big arena. I understand. Speak to Remus for another pit fight. Ask to fight a lion this time. Good luck. Okay. Um, we're going to take a break. And we're going to come back to this in... Uh, you know what? I'm going to be playing a lot of this this week. So expect to see a lot of episodes of Gladiator School this week. Otherwise, guys, um, that's about all the time I have for you today. We will see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.